going on YouTube? This is Nubby with One Hand Tech back with another product unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Corad KA3005D uh, digital DC power supply. This was given to us for review by SRASolder.com. So let's get it open and take a look. Alright, let's take a look around the outside of the box. It's pretty plain, it tells you it's a power supply made by Corad. Got a CE certification, model number, and that's about it. Let's dive on into the inside and see what's in there. Right, let's get this box open. The user's manual. Looks like a banana clip to uh, alligator clip leads. Power supply cable. I think that's it except for the main unit. Okay, I readjusted the camera and I'm going to bring everything in so you can see everything you get in the box again. You get the main power supply, the user's manual, the main input cable, and a set of alligator clip to banana clip test leads. Okay, now let's take a look around the main unit itself. As you can see on the front here, got a nice big display for voltage and current readouts. I uh, got your memory LED indicators over here. A couple of the other different LED indicators here that we'll go over in the main review. Um, all digitally controlled. A nice analog knob here. Other than that everything else is digitally controlled. Nice sturdy power switch. Output terminals on the front. The right side got some ventilation. Looks like intake ventilation here. On the back you got your fan, uh, exhaust fan for cooling, your input selection switch, input power with an inline fuse. It's very nice to have. Left hand side is some more ventilation. And on the bottom, got some nice rubber feet, help keep the sound down when you're running it. And that's going to about do it for the Corad K3005D DC digital power supply. Uh, stay tuned, we're going to be taking a real good look at this power supply and put it through its paces. Try to test the uh, overcurrent and over voltage protection of it and see how well it performs. It would test the, the ripple and the noise on the output and uh, see how stable the power is for it. Uh, we're also going to be taking a look on the inside and see what makes it tick and a look at the craftsmanship of the unit uh, in the next video in the full review. Uh, so stay tuned and as always don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.